Hello, darling. How are you tonight? I am doing very well. I think after this video, you are going to confirm 100% that I am absolutely out of my mind because this week for me has been all about testing, 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 and I am losing it and I just want to do something fun, something I haven't done, and I want to just see if it works. So a lot of you have heard or know of uh, Shelly Art, some pronounce it Sheely, some pronounce it Shelly. I've heard her say her name as Shelly, so I'm going to call her Shelly. So she is a an Australian-based artist who makes the most beautiful acrylic pour paintings you have ever seen. So she released a course. She kept this very close to the vest, her technique for years, and now she released a course that you can buy um, to learn her technique, which I did. Uh, let me tell you something. If anybody watching this has taken this course and you feel like you keep failing, that you cannot do it, trust me, it is something you have to practice and you have to learn. It is uh, even experienced pourers that have been doing it for years and years like myself are having a hard time. It's just something you have to practice to get it. So I've been trying that all week long off camera and failing most of the time. So now I need to do something fun. So what you see in front of you is a 12 by 24 canvas. I am going to do something crazy here. I'm going to put down a bunch well, not a bunch of different colors, but a bunch of paint. These ready mixed Michaels Artist Loft paints that I have. I want to use some of them up because I have a lot of them. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to put down a white base. I'm going to put some colors down the center. I'm going to take a little bit of white and put a few drops of silicone in that white. And I am going to take a broom, a mini broom, and we're going to swipe with it and see what happens so we are sweeping paint tonight guys another thing i want to bring your attention to when you get a canvas at michael's or joanne's somewhere where you actually go in and buy it always put it on the floor and make sure it's level because look at this one it's a little bit off so when i put it up against the wall it lays flush but you can tell that it's a little bit off because it rocks so Put it down on the floor and make sure that it doesn't wobble. That's the way to test to make sure that it's not worked at all. These things are expensive and we don't need to be buying them even with a little tiny bit of a warp. So these paints, if you don't know what they are, you have to buy them at Michael's or online at Michael's. They are already mixed, ready to pour on the canvas. They are mixed with a pouring medium, no silicone just a pouring medium. I don't know what brand they use, probably their own, but that's what they are. They are very expensive. Um, $14.99 a bottle. Of course you can use a coupon. They do have buy one, get one half off sometimes. Thing is, I would recommend these for somebody that hasn't poured yet, that wants to see if they like doing it, Buy a couple of color, buy, get a white and get red, yellow, and blue. Then you can make purple and green. Okay. Start off simple. See if you like it. Then if you like it, you can invest money into pouring mediums or a uh, flow trawl or whatever you want to use. These are really good for new pourers though that just want to test it out and see if they like to do it, period, because I'm one of those that will go out, I'll see a new craft that I like, and I will go out and buy every single thing for it, and then two days later, I'm not doing it anymore. So, these are a good way to just test it out to see if you like it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of white on my canvas. There are two different whites they have. They have a metallic white and a titanium white. Um, I have a little bit left in this bottle, so I'm just going to dump it onto the canvas to get rid of it. And I'm thinking of using the regular white and the metallic white. Kind of just swirl it through. Maybe it'll give us a funky pattern. This is really just a carefree kind of a thing that we're going to do right now. It's no pressure. Just have some fun and go with the flow. So before I dump all this white out, I want to use the titanium white for my swipe. So I'm going to put some of that into a cup and reserve it for my swipe. See all that paint that came out just from letting the bottle sit there for a minute? Making a mess already. So I see the tiniest little hair in there. Okay. So this is also titanium white. right there and then I'm going to take some of this metallic and kind of swirl it through so you can see the difference in color there So I'm just going to pick up my canvas and kind of tilt it around to cover the whole thing. I do have my OXO omelet flipping spatula that I absolutely love that normally I would use right now to spread this, but I have that metallic in there and I don't want to mix it in too much. So we're just going to do it this way this time. It's got a cool little pattern going there, like a zebra stripe almost. I am working on my Jumbo Loli Vefe mat, which I have a link for in the description below. With a coat. And there are multiple sizes. Absolutely love it. I love the way the skins come off. Love how easy it is to clean. It's making my life a lot easier these days. All right, so I'm going to just rip off these gloves because we're about to get stupid here. <laughs> I just, I like doing things like this because it's like no pressure, just a way to have a little fun on a Saturday night. 
Now, if 30 years ago you would have told me I'd be doing this on a Saturday night, I would have probably smacked you. I've always been artistic, but not to this point. <laughs> okay. There we go. I like that ghost flame going through almost like the, the metallic. So I'm just looking at my surface to see if I see any floaters in there. And we are good to go. So now layering. I want to put the green, or the green, the blue and the yellow next to each other so that they make green and the red and the blue together so they make purple. So let's do this. Let's go. Just need to make the path wide enough so that the broom hits it. Now the broom is going to make grooves in the whole entire painting, unless I do it this way. But, whoopsie, I'm not worried about that. Let's just see what happens here. Let's have some fun. So we'll put some of that yellow in the blue and around the blue. And red, so that was bright blue, bright yellow, now bright red. And that I want to be next to the blue and yellow should make it almost coral color, corally orange color. It did before anyway. All right. So now we're going to take our white that I have right here. I'm going to insert a few drops of silicone. I'm using treadmill belt lubricant by spot on linked in my Amazon shop. Um, for this little Dixie cup full of white paint, I will put in one, two, three, four. Well, four and a half. Now, the secret with the cells. If you want big, juicy cells, you're going to mix it in just a few times, just like that, and be done with it. If you want small, tiny cells, mix it in really good. All right, so what we're going to do is this. I'm going to zigzag across this entire pattern with the silicone infested white. Just like that. I'm going to take my broom. Now, I imagine if I take this to the tub right when I'm done, I'll be able to use it again. But who knows? This is a Dollar Tree broom. Just so you know. And I think I'm going to go. No, I think I'm going to go this way. So I'm just going to like aim it for the side of the bristle, the side part here. I missed a few spots. So, I'm going to hold it like this and try to drag it through those. And I'm going to stop. Get the torch. These are 
These look like the inside of a jawbreaker. I don't know if you guys know what that is. They're a candy. Now watch all these cells pop up from the heat of the torch. Brings the silicone oil to the surface. Now that is pretty cool. I have to do something probably about this part here. Maybe I could pull this color out a little bit. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like there's much color there. Very interesting. Look at this. There you have it. We sweet, we swept <laughs> our painting. What do you know? <laughs> oh boy I actually like that it's different the cells my god look at them <laughs> Here, let's go and just tilt this a little tiny bit to get this off if we can I actually like this little divide in here too. And there's actually more cells popping out now in that second part that I just did. Don't wanna stretch them too much. Maybe we're just going to leave it alone. I really, really, really like that. I'm going to have to level this canvas a little bit before they, uh, before it dries so it doesn't all fly off of it. That really is cool. And like I said, I love this, this, how there's a little break in between and then it comes down again. I'm going to continue torching because you see there's still some more that are going to come out with the heat. it I'm gonna give you guys a close-up and we're done quick video now that I'm looking at the background though I'm wondering if I should leave that alone or if I should swirl that a little bit you know I'm thinking I'm gonna swirl it I'm gonna use one of my little skewers here these are by Weber by the way uh, Weber grills. It's an accessory. It's just a shish kebab stick, but I like the thick end on it. So let's see what happens when I kind of just blend it in a little bit because it 
the stripes are bothering me now. They're just too pronounced. That's better. This way it's not like bam right in your face. It's kind of just blended through it. They look cool when there was nothing going through the center of them. <laughs> and it kind of looked a little funny to me, so. Alrighty. I'm very tempted, but I don't think I can do it. Very tempted to do something with this little area right here, but I'm pretty sure I'll screw something up if I do try that. So you know what? I'm just going to leave well enough alone. And give you a close-up. But seriously, look at all those colors we got from just red, yellow, and blue. Pretty cool. You know what? It felt fun to do it too. So there you have it. I have officially swept my paint. So, here's the deal. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Um, I'm still working on my Etsy shop. By the end of tomorrow, I'm hoping all my pieces will be in there. Um, links for the mat and other products that I use and love are also in the description. Amazon link. I am offering in the Connecticut area private lessons in the comfort of your own home. If you live in Connecticut and are interested in that, send me an email art by Tammy at Yahoo. Woo 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 woo! <laughs> art by Tammy at Yahoo.com. That came out too fast. And I want to show you this little face. Do you see him? Do you see him right there? He's saying, whoa. <laughs> anyway, guys, I have a Facebook group that is awesome. It's called United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. I run it with Lisa Wyatt Art, who also has a YouTube channel. Um, there's a lot of like-minded folks in there that are helpful and supportive drama free yes drama free we need drama free and um 
yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video. I just don't want to let you guys go. Sorry about the ring light, but it will light up the colors for you. I have to put a little paint here on my canvas. I went a little too low with the uh, brush, the broom. So anyway, guys, you all have an amazing night. And, whoa, let me get a correct view. Hold on. And, happy boring.